Hello, this is Marie Internet, and today we're comparing fractions. We're going to find out how to tell when one is greater than, less than, or equal to the other. You have to know that when looking at fractions, both the denominator and the numerator matter. So if I take a look immediately and I see the 3 versus 3, I can't get that excited. It's not that easy to tell that they're equal, because in truth, they're not. Let's take a closer look because like I said, the denominator matters. Here's a picture of 3 fifths and a picture of 3 eighths. As you can see, this whole pie is about the same size as this whole pie, so we can make a visual comparison. I have 3 out of the 5 pieces shaded here to represent the 3 fifths over on this side, and I have 3 out of the 8 pieces shaded on this to represent the 3 eighths over on this side. Well, immediately this is easy to tell that the 3 fifths is much larger than the 3 eighths just by looking right here and you can tell that this one's shaded blue and this one's not. So quite easy to tell that 3 fifths is greater than, greater than the 3 eighths. But you can't draw a picture of pizza pies for every math problem, so let's see how to do it in mathematical language. The denominator is a lot like the language that two people speak. This girl says, I speak French. The boy says, I speak English. Unfortunately, that makes it rather tough for the two to communicate. However, if the girl can speak Polish and the boy can speak Polish as well, they switch to Polish and then they can communicate and understand each other. Just like this. In order to compare two fractions, you want to do the same thing. You want to pick the same language, so to speak, or the same denominator language. So what we're doing here in step one is picking the LCM, the least common multiple, between the two denominators. Well, what's, what's a denominator? It's the one in the lower position. What's an LCM, a least common multiple? Well, multiples, you're going up um, by that number each leap. So 5 times 1, 5 times 2, 5 times 3, and so on. So his multiples are down here. This is what the 5 can speak. I speak 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Doing the same for the 8, listing his multiples. I speak 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, and 56. I don't need to go any further because I can tell right here with the 40 and right here with the 40, I have found a language that they both speak, kind of like the boy and the girl. They spoke all kinds of languages, but I picked the first one that they agreed upon and then they could have the conversation. So in this case, my least common multiple is 40. Step two, change both denominators to the LCM that you found. Like I said, we found that it was a 40, so I came down, this one became the 40, and then this 8 became the 40. How did that happen? Step 3. Do the same multiplication on the numerators that you did for each denominator. Well, invisibly, to get the 5 to become the 40, I multiplied by 8. So that means I have to do the same thing for its numerator. I have to multiply by the 8 to get the new numerator, 24. Taking a look over on the right, invisibly for the 8 to turn into the 40, a multiplication times 5 had to happen. So in order to get my numerator down here, I need to do the same thing. 3 times 5 gives me the 15. Now we're speaking that same denominator language that I was talking about. Step four, now you have a fair comparison and can tell which pair has one fraction greater than the other, less than the other, or equal to the other. Well, now it's just a matter of, since the denominators are the same, focusing on the numerator right here in the top position. And I'm looking at 24 versus a 15, and I know that 24 is greater than 15, so 24 fortieths is greater than 15 fortieths, giving me my greater than answer. Now that you've learned the correct four-step method with the least common multiple, here comes the shortcut for situations when you have to be fast, like time tests. 
multiply to the sky, multiply to the sky, who's the bigger guy? Kind of a rhyme to help you remember when comparing two fractions that you have to multiply in an upwards direction, like I'm showing you with the orange arrows. 5 times 3 gives you 15 over there. Same thing, crossing upward towards the sky. 8 times 3 gives you 24 over there. And then you look at 24 is greater than 15, which will help you bring in your symbol that 3 fifths then is greater than 3 eighths. Because what's going on over here on the left is greater than what's going over here on the right. Now this will work every time if you remember to multiply towards the sky. If you start multiplying towards the ground, you won't be getting the right answer. Thanks for watching. Now you should try on your own.